Hey everybody, we're heading over to our 650 gallons today to talk some more about Samson, our 34 inch fire eel. Specifically, we're gonna cover the tank size requirements if you'd ever like to keep a fish like this. And I'll also go over the growth rates that I've experienced with Samson over the years. But first things first, let's talk about the size of this fish. This guy is a beast. He's 34 inches and he's also got some good girth to him. Now, as far as fire eels go, He's a little on the larger side, but I've actually seen bigger, so these guys can get monstrous. And beyond that, they're absolute tank busters. This fish is basically one long muscle. I've seen him hit the lid of this tank with some impressive force. Thank goodness it's only a plastic lid or we'd have some problems. But let's talk about the tank dimensions. This is a 650 gallon custom build that is 9 feet long by 4 feet wide by a bit under 3 feet tall. And this is pretty sufficient space for Samson. He seems to have more than enough room to stretch his fins. But not everyone can have a nine foot tank in their home. So let's talk a bit about minimum tank size. To house an adult specimen with a long-term commitment, you really can't have them in anything less than a seven foot tank. That's really the minimum for a fish that can grow up to three feet or longer. I'm very sorry to say these fish cannot go in a six foot tank. And that's a bit unfortunate because six feet tanks tend to be the biggest that you'll find commercially available before you get into more custom builds. So it can be quite an investment to keep a fish like this, but I don't want that to deter anyone. If you can do it, do it because these fish are so worth it. And if you stay tuned to this channel, we're going to be putting out some great DIY videos for how to build big tanks on a budget. Now, one saving grace in terms of tank requirements for this species is the width of the tank. That is not as stringent as the length requirements. And that's because this fish has a very flexible body, and it actually turns sort of like a snake does. Ultimately, the minimum requirement for width would be two feet. And again, that's really the minimum. Uh, more would be better, even given the fish's flexibility. 30 inches, and you'd be good to go. Then we come to the height of the tank, which can be important because the fish will sometimes like to stretch up to the surface to catch food as you feed it with its tail hanging down by the bottom. So you don't need to give it its full length, but it is nice to give it some room to stretch out. I recommend two feet for height. So all in, end of day, what are we talking about for a minimum tank size? You're gonna be looking at a seven foot long tank that's two feet wide, preferably two and a half feet, and two feet tall. That's gonna be your bare minimum, or at least the minimum that I would feel comfortable keeping a fire eel in. As with any fish and tank size requirements, bigger is usually better if you can do it. But you might say, hey, I just bought a fire eel last week and it's only four inches. I don't need the huge tank for that, right? So let's talk a bit about the tank sizes that you can use to graduate it up throughout its life. I of course recommend starting with the full size tank for an adult specimen and letting it grow into the space. But let's be real, that doesn't always happen and it's not always possible. So to start off, I recommend a 55 or 75 gallon aquarium, something that will give you four feet in length. Even if you don't think your fish needs it at that time, these fish can grow kind of quickly. Samson got to be a foot in the first year that I had him. And you really want to minimize the number of times you have to move your fire eel. So it's not wise to start in a 29 gallon and then move up to a 40 and then move up to a 55 or 75. I will just start off in that four foot tank from the get go. After about a year to a year and a half, you're gonna wanna start thinking about moving him to a 125 gallon or a six foot tank. That's gonna coincide with the fish reaching about a foot and a half in length. Now, once you get them into a six foot tank, you have some time to breathe easy for a while. I had Samson in a 125 for a couple years, no problem whatsoever. When your fish hits that two foot mark, you got to start thinking about his forever home. And at two and a half feet, you're really out of time. You got to get him into a bigger tank. All in all, Samson was fine in your more typical tank sizes for about three years before I moved him into his long term home. 
But your fish could be totally different. Let me tell you, when Samson was about two feet and he grew accustomed to eating frozen foods, his growth rate exploded. And I quickly found myself needing to prepare his final home for him. Your fish could have something like that develop sooner than I did, or later. It really depends on the fish and how you keep them. The overall message really is just be prepared and don't get into a situation unless you're certain that you can take care of that fish or rehome them to a proper home. Well guys, that'll about do us for today. I hope this video helped out at least a few of you in understanding how to take care of this wonderful fish. And if you have any questions about this species or how to care for them, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Alright guys, have a good one.